I am indeed bricked up. We got this Tops Now Jared Walsh from when he hit for the cycle the other night. And this card looks very nice. In order to get this Jared Walsh card, all you have to do is collect 45 Tops Nows. If you've been keeping up with monthly awards and Tops Nows as they've been coming out, you should be able to get them right away. And while we're on the topic of players that have hit for the cycle and got a Tops Now card, Eduardo Escobar is here too. You could absolutely make a case that this card is better than Jared Walsh. You might not even be wrong with the switch hitting, secondary positions, the balance hitting. Both these cycle cards are sick. Now, normally I would get these guys and go right into a ranked seasons game. But today we're gonna switch it up and go into the brand new Moonshot event. For this one, you can use any hitters and you have to use bronze lefties for your pitchers. These are the starters I'm going with. These are the relievers. And yeah, I just wanna hit some bombs today. Now, even though Jared Walsh is a lefty, the nice thing is that that card is actually solid against lefties so it's not you know the worst thing in the world throwing him in the moonshot event speaking of this new moonshot event we did get two new diamond player rewards in the reward path babe ruth oh no chance he's making that play at 10 wins there's a 94 rookie aristides aquino and at 15 wins there's a 93 Giancarlo stanton kind of weird how the reward that takes more wins to get is a lower oh oh my god we got him we got him oh bad move there brother bad move as i was saying it is kind of funny that the guy you get at 15 wins is a lower overall than the guy you get at 10 wins not that it necessarily matters about overall and realistically the cards look kind of similar in terms of what they're offering i just thought that was kind of interesting all right escobar turn up here first at bat let's go yard oh hey we'll take a double we'll take that while she next Come on, Jared. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a speed-induced error by Jared Walsh. Oh my God, bro. Nicholas Castellanos. That'll make it a three-run ball game. Yeah, Castellanos and Nelson Cruz are basically like must-haves for your team in this event. I have Cruz on the bench, but you know damn well he's gonna get his at-bats with those pinch hit opportunities. Why did I do that? Also, I don't know why I put Troy Gloss in this lineup when I could have put Cattell Marte in. It's the same reason why I have Babe Ruth in here. I'm trying to get parallel stats with him because these are guys I use in my God Squad. Troy Gloss doesn't even sniff my God Squad anymore. Ah, why am I late? Anyway, let's go over some of the other stuff that came out today. We're using Jared Walsh and Eduardo Escobar in this video, but there were three more Tops Now cards that came out today. We got Jose Trevino from the Yankees. We got Taylor Walls, and we've got Dylan Moore. And of course, you know, if you're keeping up with the Tops Nows, you collect, I think, eight of them. That's what gets you Eduardo Escobar. But yeah, just another solid set of Tops Nows. Nothing crazy in the actual program. It's really the tops now collection guys that are the ones you want to be like really eyeing right now we got some offline stuff that came out today as well specifically a new program uh so you know how they did the big dog program a couple weeks back where you can get one of the big dog packs and you have a showdown and you have moments and missions all centered around that big dog content well they did the same thing with the always intense packs now there's an always intense showdown there's always intense moments always intense missions of course you get a couple of those packs going through the program so on and so forth one thing for the showdown when you guys do decide to do it is the final boss is the uh finest or retro finest brian wilson card but the mini bosses i think are all lefties i think you have to face brad hand al Leiter, and tom glavin so just keep that in mind when you're drafting it's still a very easy uh showdown but you know if you want to maximize your ability to get it done quick just Keep that in mind. Here he is, Nelson Cruz. I said he's basically like a must-have. So yeah, I told you, you need that. Oh, Eduardo. No, Eduardo, you can't go there. But with the always intense stuff, if you complete that program, you get, I think, 10K XP in the Future Stars program. Um, there's also, you actually get 5,000 XP for getting the Jared Walsh card. You can collect him in the program as well. They added more exchanges, they added more missions, and they finally added the West Conquest map, or no, I'm sorry, the East Conquest map. So you guys know, just a ton of ways to get XP in that, uh, future of the franchise program right now. And, you know, we'll, we'll still get some. Okay, I hung that. But I basically sold all of my future stars as I was going through the program and just getting the most amount of stubs I could. Now a lot of them are kind of hitting that 10K range on the market, which is 
basically the spot where you'd like to buy them because that's their quick sell value. You can't really go any lower than that. So if you see a future stars that you want to buy and they're sitting around 10 or 11K on the market, that's probably the best deal you're going to get on those guys other than just grinding and getting them later on, you know, if they're in another program. Finish this thing. Come on. Hey, we got our win. Oh my God, I almost forgot to mention this. Okay, so there was a roster update today it wasn't attributes it was like you know positional changes transactions all that type of stuff and guess who got added to the roster finally Derek fisher is back trust me you can absolutely expect some Derek fisher content on the channel it's very soon yep this is gonna be one of those sweaty ones huh Ah, is not where I wanted it. <laughs> I missed my location so bad there. That's the thing with this event, man. You just have to accept that it, it, it's just not going to go your way when you're on the mound. You can make the best pitches of all time, but the Moonshot event is about hitting bombs. And at the end of the day, you're using bronze pitchers and just crazy power hitters. Like, you're going to get screwed. It's going to happen. If you can't accept that, if you get frustrated as that happens, maybe the Moonshot event isn't for you. Trust me, it ain't good for your mental health. Just just let it go. I Am I going to get this guy out, like, at all? Oh, my God. Castellanos, please. Hey, what a play, buddy. I got back-to-back -back outs. I might cry. You know what, dude? Screw it. Let's 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 push it. I'm going to walk Gary Carter, and I'm going to walk Chris Bryant. Give me the pitcher. You can't take him out yet. He hasn't pitched. I will quit this game if you say Kikuchi gets a hit. Starting there. Exiting narrator. What, why is it narrating? Nah, bro. Nah. J just take it. I'm not even going to try to fight that one. New game! The last one never happened. This gave me a chance to put Cattell Marte on the team anyway, so it all worked out. See, this is, this is much nicer, isn't it? Oh my, I love when Babe Ruth makes plays. Yeah, there we go! Finally, we got the Eduardo Escobar bomb. Jared Walsh, you're up. Come on, dude. Does that have enough? You trolling me or i'm not ending this video until jared walsh hits a home run i don't care if i gotta record for seven hours i'm hitting a home run with walsh see you know what it was a blessing could tell Marte in the lineup just makes me infinitely happier that shouldn't be caught if it's not gone it's still extra bases let's go babe Ruth. oh also um Last week, I forget what video it was. I don't even remember. I, I don't remember what video it was, but last week I recorded a gameplay and throughout the gameplay, I started talking about like stuff going on around, you know, Major League Baseball. And a lot of you guys in the comments actually said that you were like digging it, which I was shocked. Normally, whenever I talk about baseball, everybody just calls me an idiot, which is fine because, you know, I am. But like a lot of you guys said, yeah, dude, once a week, maybe once every couple weeks, talk about what's going on in real baseball. Talk about, you know, storylines around the league. And hey, man, I'm, I'm glad to do it. Oh, Escobar, that was hot. I just I just want Jared Walsh to connect on something. I know that's a bad swing, but I, I, I need it. This guy's going to hit eight home runs in the first inning, isn't he? Maybe only seven. Oh, and he's got the long ball beasts jersey. He's, he's collecting jerseys. This kid's a warrior. Hold on. Was Ryan... Ryan Yarbrough was the guy that got lit up in the game where, where Kikuchi dropped the bunt. I don't... He Has he gotten an out yet? Oh, there we go. There it is. There it is. Freaking miracle, dude. Come on. Give me a double play. Ah, uh, we'll only get one. Why did I give myself false hope that we were going to get out of that inning? I, I, I don't know why I did that to myself. It's like the Angels. Why do I always give myself this hope that this time will be different? Oh, you have one of the best records in the American League. You finally feel like you're going to be competing for a playoff spot. Bam! 14 game losing streak. Oh, your team's finally back at full health. You can finally have the lineup that you've wanted to see for most of the year. Bam! Anthony Rendon hurt again.
Thanks, Gary. I will not allow a run this inning. It will not happen. Cespedes, you got to make the play. No runs this inning. I'm diving. Oh, Cespedes, you're a king. Babe Ruth, I need you, buddy. No runs that inning. Gregory Soto and the boys are up. I mean, we got to start it with Nelson Cruz here and then Escobar and then Walshie. <laughs> what? <laughs> what were you thinking? Okay. Oh, I thought that was getting caught. Atta boy, Eduardo. Walshie. Come on, dude. I am so bad at this freaking game. I would have bet a million dollars on an inside sinker being the first pitch. I don't have a million dollars, but like if I did, I would bet it. And I still... Oh my God, finally.